Good morning everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. And today I am going to be making with you some really super simple folio ideas. Um, yeah, I've been working on these and I just want to create a third one. And I thought we might do it together. So it's just a very, very simple folio. It has a pocket on the back and... Um, I, don't, I don't know what you call these things, a document tie or whatever they're called. I open them up and I've got a side tuck pocket here and um, another pocket in here. And I've just filled them with some ephemera. And uh, yeah, they're just such an easy, simple little project to create. And yeah, let's make one together. Very, very simple. Uh, the decorating really is the biggest part. So I'll just pop these to the side. I've made the two. They're exactly the same on the inside. Um, again, we've just got side tuck pocket, base pocket in the middle, and then over on the back again is another pocket. So let's get in and create one together. Um, I'm going to be using to cover my folio. This is a new printable that I've just released into the Etsy store. This one is called Tatty Papers uh, Collage Backgrounds. So we'll use this one for decoration. I'll just do a quick, a quick flip through of this one. So yeah, we'll use that our decoration and basically the foundation is one sheet of A4 size card stock. Um, this is a coffee stained piece but you could use anything. I just say something with a bit of weight so that you've got a little bit of structure for your folio. And all I'm simply going to do with the A4 sheet of paper or card stock is I'm just going to trim it um, height wise down to eight inches so I'm just going to line that up with my eight it's only really trimming off about a quarter of an inch so I'm just going to simply do that that's your piece that you're cutting off and I've only I've made it at um, eight inches tall um, simply because of the fact that eight inches tall matches a um, the printable. By the time you cut away the excess strip around the printable, it matches that um, height pretty easy. So one sheet of A4 cardstock cut to eight inches high. And now all I want to simply do, I'm bringing in my scoreboard. All I simply want to do is score it, score the A4 sheet. So we're going to put it into the scoreboard in the landscape. Um, direction and I'm going to score that at four and a quarter inches and four and a half and then we'll go over here to nine and a quarter inches and nine and a half and that is it for the cutting and the scoring simple as that And then I'm just going to fold along those score lines. And it just gives you that quarter of an inch gusset just to give you some room for your pockets and um, ephemera to go inside. And that is our folio, the structure of the folio. Simple and easy, but it can, it can hold quite a bit of ephemera, I've got my strings all caught up. So I have got in here, in the side tuck pocket, um, I've got the hidden journal spot and I've got a little library card. So it's a fair amount of room. I've got a scrappy notebook and another little piece of ephemera that we made on the Re Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So they belong in there. And then over on the back, I've just included inside one of these little um, document holders. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. 
that's all right I'll have to glue that back together so a little document holder just with some bits and pieces uh, this was another thing that we made another one of the Ro Roxy's weekly challenges so I'll just have to that paper is really fragile so I'm just going to have to fix that one up but that's easy all right so I love a little folio that can fit quite an amount of ephemera in there okay so now I'm just going to basically do some decorating um, and I'm, like I said, I'm just going to use this new printable of mine just to do some decorating. Um, so I guess all you have to do is work out what you want on your inside and what you want on your front. Um, and I'm just going to just pick papers at random and just start to start to just glue them down. So I am going to just cut um, just cut to size rather than stick down. I think it's a little easier that way. So I'll just bring back in my um, cutter, my trimmer. And I'm just going to cut. Don't need to worry about um, the height because I know that that will fit. So that one can live there. And then this one here, I'm just going to cut to fit this section here. lining that up in between my school marks putting a bit of a mark and I'm going to cut that one down there like that. now I've created this printable um, with no particular orientation it's just um, all over the place so it's great for this kind of things because you don't have to worry about what's up and what's down so really all I'm going to do now is just um, Stick these bits down onto my cardstock. This one here's a little long, but we can just trim that up once it's stuck down. And you just want it, here's your score line here. So you just want it to sit just that side of the score line there. All right, so I am simply going to use some glue stick. Now I'm a bit, oh, I haven't got much left. I didn't realize I was so low on glue stick, so. I'm going to have to get to the shops and grab me some more. So I'm just simply just going to try and keep my glue inside of the lines because as you all know, I'm quite a messy gluer. Okay, and we're just going to place this one down here again there's my score line now if it is easier you can ink your score line prior that way you can see it but I'm just going to try and level it up with this bottom edge here oh that might be oh no that works so just something like that and again we'll go over into this big middle section Put our glue down. And how is everyone today? The start of another week, Monday today. Gee, those weekends go fast. It's a little bit rainy and windy here today, so that should make for a, a great day to get in and get some more packing done. So again, I'm just lining that up just inside my score mark and I'm just going to lay that down. Now it has come over a little bit at the bottom edge, but I'll just trim that up. There's my score mark there. And then this one here, I'm just going to simply place down on there. Just like that, and then I'm just going to level that up with that score mark. So I want to do it that way. Just like that, I think. Let me see, that looks a bit crooked. Oh no, that's pretty good. All right, and then I'm just simply going to trim this out. Just a few sections along this bottom edge here that need a bit of a trim off now if you had um 
coffee stain card that you you could just you wouldn't even have to cover it you could just um just leave it just as it is it's personal choice how you want to decorate i just um wanted to use this new printable that i have created because i think it's really pretty <laughs> All right, so that's our front section, and I'm just going to give that a bit of a burnish just to make sure that glue stick is all stuck where it's supposed to be stuck. And that edge there looks like it's just up just that little bit. All right, and then that will flip over, and that one will flip over just like so. And now we're just going to do the same with the middle. And I am again just going to use another page from this printable and I'm just going to cut it down to suit. And I just want to cut it there. So I get rid of my cutter. Just cut it down there. So that's for the smaller one. And this one here will be in this bigger section. And I'll trim that there. About like that. And then again, this little piece will go nicely on that edge. So we'll get all these ones stuck down. I've still got a little bit of glue stick left. Get these down. And I've, I will sew all around the edges when um, everything has dried off. So if it if it doesn't quite... I just find this glue stick is a little bit um, unreliable at the moment. This was always a good brand, but this batch just doesn't seem to stick very well. And I'm just trying to line that up with my score line, just to the one side of it. It's a little out, but I don't think that matters. So I'll give that a good burnish and then this middle section here and there we go I might just give that just a touch of a trim it's just overhanging that score line just a hair so I'm just going to give that just a really little trim just that tiny, tiny piece. And that's better. All right, so we'll pop our glue down on this section. Level it up with that score line. I hope my head is not in the way. And then we'll lay that piece down. And then this final piece here. I'm using the cardstock, um, makes it nice and sturdy, but then when you lay your papers down, then it gives it that extra strength. So it is a really nice. Um, a nice rigid folio it's not going to sort of you know be too um, wonky <laughs> if that's a word if you know what I'm talking about sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about <laughs> all right and now I'm just simply going to trim up where it's just fallen beyond the cardstock there so I'll just give that a bit of a trim up there's a bit of a trim up and and then straight down this side here Like so. All 
right, so that is our folio decorated. That closes over, that closes over like that. Now I've just worked in advance a little bit and I've just um, used some Tim Holtz packaging just to make some pockets. So we have, I'll bring this one back in. So we have the side tuck pocket here, a pocket in the middle here and a pocket on the back. So all I've simply done, I've just taken some Tim Holtz packaging and I've just basically cut to size just to fit Oh, that's too big. Well, I didn't do that very well, did I? That one will fit. So, yeah, just to fit inside the two score lines. And I have just put some little wings on the edges of my pockets just to give it a little bit more space for the amount of ephemera. Now, this one here has, again, cut from the same piece of packaging. And I'm just going to lay that one there. And I'm just going to have to fiddle with this one a little bit just to bring it back to size. So all I want to do again is take an, I've got a little bit of scrap here that will work. I'm pretty sure will work on the pocket. Yep. So all I'm simply going to do is cut. I might actually just trim that, pop that straight down over the top. So I'm just going to glue the face, the face of my pocket. this again just this side of my score mark just like that and give that a trim down that side so that's pocket number one and that one will fit nicely in there so because I will want to sew I'm just going to pin it in place at the moment like that and this one is the same now this has this is just part of um one of the Tim Holtz papers but once again once I put this down on top of it that'll make it there's just a little bit of a fold over here where it folds over but once I've put my paper down that will strengthen that a bit so again just some glue over the top and I'm just going to lay my paper straight down over the top of that Yeah, I knew it wouldn't last long. <laughs> Glue everywhere. And I'm just going to trim that out. That piece was just a little short, so I'm just going to trim it down the bottom. Move those out the way. So that is the side tuck pocket. Just that will live there like that one. Just got a bit of wet glue. So I will just pin this one into place. And it will live there once I've sewn and inked. And then we can attach that one. This is inside the cover and then so that will be like that will be like that and then on the back I don't know what I oh that'll be fine it's just overhanging just a bit but because it's on the back it won't matter too much because it it can just overhang the edges slightly so I'm just once again going to pick another page from the printable and I'm simply just going to cover over the top of that. Just 
just like that. I really love this receipt, so I want that one. So again, just just inside that score mark, down like that. And I'm just going to cut that away. And I can just go straight through and cut up this edge like so. And that's our third pocket and that one will live on the back. And I'll just pin it into place until I've done the sewing. So, what have we got so far? So we open up our folio. We have our side tuck pocket. Let's put this glue away. We have our side tuck pocket like we have on this one here. And again, what a difference does it make once it's been glue, um, sewn and distress inked? Then we have this middle pocket here. This one here is this one here. And again, sewing and inking all around it um, will make a huge difference to the end result. So I'll just pop those inside there. And then on the back, we have our third pocket on the back like that. Now we'll just work on our little closure, which is really, really simple, very, very easy. I have worked in advance. Now what I did, I used the uh, lid off my glue stick and I just traced around that to create the circle and I just uh, stuck that circle down on two or three, I can't remember now, layers of um, cardstock just to give it a little bit of thickness. And I've just machine stitched just around it just for that look. And what I'm simply going to do, I'm just going to... Um, attach that to that section of the front cover. Um, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue onto it just to keep it in place. Um, but I'm going to use a gold brad to hold it all together. So I'm just eyeballing what to me looks about sort of centre and level that I'm pretty happy with. And now I am simply going to grab a gold brad. Now at the moment I only have big ones, which they do look nice, but I think something smaller would look even better. But you work with what you've got. And I'm going to use my cropper dial and I'm just going to use my small hole. And I am simply going to just eyeballing but sort of as much oh that doesn't work does it all right plan b i need to find i need to find my all that is right there and i will simply punch a yeah i'm a bit disappointed i can't that's just it just won't let me reach there oh yes it will ah oh, i thought it did because it did on the other one all right, so I'm simply just going to use the small hole in my cropper dial and punch. Oh, that's not even centre, but that that's okay. I'm not going to get all upset about that. And then I'm just going to use the brad, swing that back around. Oh, I could do it like that. It's more in the centre then. And just open up my brad at the back. Now, if you didn't like this brad just sitting here like that, you could always just cover it straight over with another piece of um, patterned paper. You could put your brad in prior to popping this sheet, this piece down. All right, so that's our little closure. So, so simple. So again, like I said, just a circle. You could use, you could use a, um, oh, I don't know what other. Is it a one inch, one inch circle punch? To, is that an inch? Yeah, that's an inch. So one inch circle punch to cut to um, punch your little circle. I don't have one of those, so I, that's why I've traced around my glue stick. But yeah, and then I've just sewn. The sewing is is my deal. It's it doesn't have to be everyone's. Uh, this one here, I completely forgot to sew, and it still looks nice. 
this one here I sewed. So it's very much personal choice what you do with that. And now I just want to grab my string and I'm just going to, now you want to make sure your edges do sit up because you, we're going to wrap our string underneath there. And I'm just going to tie it off just with a simple knot and the knot will slip down underneath the little closure so we won't even see that. I'll just trim that bit off there. And then the sky's the limit as for how you want to, how many times you want to wrap your, wrap your string around. So I'm just going to bring that up a little bit higher. Oh, because I've got pockets, it's all caught up on me. I'll come here. We'll put that there for the side for the moment. All right, so I'm just going to go one, two, and then I'm just going to wrap it around my closure one, two times and then I'm just because I'm not sure if I'm going to um, tie a dangle onto there or what I'm going to do um, I would I would always suggest a little bit more than less at this stage because you are going to fill it with your ephemera and then that will just um, increase the size of the, the folio itself so yeah it's as simple as that and then that opens up like so and like so and then you've got your back pocket and then you just fill it full of whatever it is you like you can put tags in there you could put envelopes you could put uh, little hidden journal spots journal cards it's good size and if you give yourself a little bit of a gusset on those um, pockets on the inside with those little side flaps then you will give yourself some more room to add extras. So yeah, I just I love the idea. It's um, I, I'm trying to create a few little bits and pieces for the store, and I just thought, well, they they look really lovely um, together, and you could team it up with a a naked junk journal, and then um, be a lovely gift for someone with an ephemera bundle. Great for ephemera holding them. You could even if you wanted to. You could even sew into these gusseted areas. I would say this one here, a little junk journal, a little, say, six or ten page little journal could actually sit inside there because you do have that quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch gusset. Um, so, yeah, you could even do that. Or you could, what you could do also, you could punch a hole and punch a hole, place in an eyelet. And then you could do a traveller's notebook style where it's attached with the elastic and then you could, you know, replace it when it gets full. So many ideas. So, um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this little craft with me this morning. I just, um, like I said, I've just finished some um, bigger projects and when I do finish my bigger projects, I always like to have something just really simple to create. And it gave me the opportunity to use the new printable, the Tatty Papers. So if anyone's interested, the Tatty Papers um, Collage Backgrounds Kit, it's a five-page kit in an A4 size. Um, and, yeah, it's just a montage, a whole collage of just of vintage receipts and scripts and patterns, music paper, labels, stamps, just all sorts of bits and pieces great for using in your backgrounds, bases for ephemera and so forth. And it is available in the Etsy store at the moment. And I'll pop the link for that down below in the description box. And I just have to fix this little one up, but we can do that. I might just actually create a new belly band to go around that to hold all my ephemera pieces in place. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that somebody finds some interest in that. Give them a go. They're so simple and easy, and they just, they're really, really nice design. I will continue to decorate with some labels and maybe um, some metal objects and things like that on them just to really fancy them up. But just for now, I just wanted to get the three construct constructed and completed in that sense. Okay, everyone, I hope you all have a great Monday. Um, please stay safe and well, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.